A West Chu home builder who made headlines last summer after police believed he faked his own disappearance is now charged with a crime. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live at the federal courthouse. And Jessica, we remember there had been a frantic search that tied up public resources. Yeah, that's right, Eric. This criminal charge coming today on top of a half dozen civil lawsuits that basically claim the same thing, that Brett Dedimore allegedly used construction loans to pay for his lavish lifestyle. And when the money ran out, he faked his disappearance. He is set to appear here at the federal courthouse for an initial appearance in 10 days. That alone, I'm told, means something else is in play. For five days last June, a frantic search for Brett Dedimore, then a married father of three who left his Westview home and allegedly disappeared. Hours later, his truck found on fire in Bear Creek Park. By the sixth day, Westview police revealing they believed it was all made up. Dedimore was found at a bus stop in San Antonio. At this time, we have absolutely no information that would indicate that foul play was involved. Since then, a half dozen civil lawsuits have exposed claims of fraud and theft, and now Dedimore faces a criminal charge. In the information filed today, he's accused of taking one and a half million dollars that was intended for the construction of private homes. He faces one count of wire fraud, but for much less than a million and a half, and hasn't been arrested. Former federal the prosecutor States Michael Wynn, who is not on the case says expect Dedimore to plead guilty. A deal has been cut. There's no question about that. It's a one count information. Could have been many more. A deal's already been cut. He's given an opportunity, you know, to present himself pursuant to Summers rather than arrest. Mm -hmm. So there's a deal. In an email to ABC 13 responding to the criminal charge, Dedimore's attorney wrote, quote, I appreciate your interest, but we will not comment on this matter. Theft, fraud, uh, breach of contract. But, you know, basically our allegations are that by means of fraud, he stole money from my clients in the millions. Butch Boyd has plenty to say. He represents several families who were left with half-built homes and stolen funds. He would take an invoice from House A, submit it to the bank on House B, draw that money and then use it for, you know, his personal lifestyle. The lawsuits are pending. Boyd hopes to recover some money in a bizarre case that originated out of idyllic West Jew. You got the truck burning, the fake disappearance coming back. You've got the news all over it. But, you know, there's people who are really hurt by this financially, uh, feel violated. So you're never going to make that right. But this is a great step for my clients in terms of this indictment.